Hey folks, coming at you from the Salt Creek Woods, um, mostly prairie oak savanna, uh, behind me is, uh, is Salt Creek, uh, it's a little floodplain right there, uh, here for, to explore. So I've been following this bike trail here, uh, I wasn't able to get into where I wanted to come into the area, there was a whole bunch of meandering trails. Popular, you see. It's like the end of February, 50 degrees, breezy part of the year. But uh, it's really good to get out. A lot of other people have the same idea. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to find. Uh, I'm gonna try to find some of these foot trails. Uh, I got uh, quite a walk ahead of me here, and we'll just see how this goes. So I told a friend that I wanted to get out, uh, get my Nature RX in today, and. Uh, she was teasing me, she started teasing me about uh, Sasquatch things. I'm like, look out for Sasquatch. And, uh, it gave me an idea. It's kind of really like the reason why I'm here. Uh, not the reason why I'm here, but uh, just gave me an idea for a place to go that wasn't too far away from, uh, from where I stay. Uh, now, what's interesting, there is a Sasquatch story around this area. Uh, this is the Chicago area. We're around nearby a couple miles from the Brookfield Zoo. I guess there were some sightings. I can't give you the stats on it. But uh, I thought I would, you know, check out the area uh, just to see, you know, what I think of it. You know, to me, it seems highly unlikely, uh, you know, that there would be something like that here. Although there is plenty of game, but it's, just, it's not much space. I mean, it's, it's fairly big, but it's just, you know, not a, not a whole lot of space. You know, getting in and out of here. Like, you know, hang out here for a while. I wouldn't be here if I was one of you guys. Hell no. Well, it looks like I'm about to leave Salt Creek Woods and uh, head into Bemis Woods, and that's uh, where all those foot trails are that I wanted to get to. Uh, not uh, uh, not making bad time at all. A pretty nice area. I'm enjoying this. I'm looking forward to seeing those foot trails. Should be there in a few. In Bemis Woods area now, uh, just uh, across Wolf Road, got uh, through a small patch of woods out here into this big uh, uh, picnic grove here. This is close to where. Uh, I was trying to get into. But, uh, there's a bridge going across Salt Creek there. A whole bunch of trails here. I'm gonna try a little trail loop uh, that'll take me back. Uh, uh, take take me back to this point, then uh, go back to the uh, go back to where I parked. I probably. Uh, only got about two and a half hours of daylight left. But this place will be real, it's gonna be really beautiful. It's gonna be really beautiful when the green starts coming in. Okay, now we're into the mud and the ground, bike and footpaths only. Uh, well, it's all bike and footpaths anyway. But, uh, okay, everything's nicely marked here. Uh, I'm gonna start on my little loop, grab a couple of trails back to this point here, starting with the green trail. All right, I just came uh, out uh, on the, from the other edge of the woods right there and crossed this field uh, to reach up the, this trail intersection here. And uh, the green trail goes around that way somewhere. And uh, this is a short little purple trail spur and I'm going to take that back to yellow or orange I mean I always do that and um, and circle back yeah this grove was open the grove 8 was open but the, the other one was closed
finally got alone enough in a good location to uh, check out my new Silky Gomboy uh, folding saw. And uh, this is a piece of uh, about two and a quarter inches of some green. I don't know what kind of tree this is. Uh, but uh, yeah, I went through that in about 10 seconds. Yeah, real happy with that first use. I really, so I really like this. Uh, you know, it's a, I really like the feel. The handle folds up to about uh, nine inches or so. I really like the feel of that handle. Um, it is rubberized. It's a nice shape, nice comfortable shape. Now I've seen reviews on this where people said it's too easy to get up on this uh, release mechanism while you're while you're sawing. I, and I just don't see it. You know, I just don't see it unless you uh, unless you've got some pretty slick hands. But uh, that'd be pretty slick to slip on this rubber. But uh, yeah, digging it. trail takes you around the perimeter of it close to the roads and stuff the highway down, down to the west of me it kind of sucks it's a nice walk it's all uh, all like marsh back in here but, uh, you know it is what it is Just hate having all the traffic noise and stuff on the videos. Oh yeah, there's like lots of black walnut everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So this path should take me uh, down to the uh, salt down Salt Creek again. Uh, come up along the uh, floodplain back up to that bridge. No, actually, well, it will eventually. It was taking me up through the uh, picnic grove here. Okay. Yeah. And I'll cross this grove and find where the trail picks up again. And back down into the floodplain. Yeah. So I'm coming back around to the bridge pretty soon here. Uh, and then I'll be leaving uh, leaving Bemis Woods, you know, heading back through uh, Salt Creek Woods uh, to my vehicle. It's going to be dark soon. I better pick up the pace. Probably not going to film much anymore. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, sorry to be a little lame on the... Uh, uh, sorry I didn't give you an actual demo on that. Um, uh, that's that Silky Gone Boy. That's going to have to be another time. Uh, you know, my thoughts keep going back to, you know, the deer... Uh, that I found when I first uh, when I first started walking, uh, that, was, that kind of kind of surprised me there. I'm still a little mystified about that. I don't know how I'm going to show it or what I'm going to do. It might be a little inappropriate for what people are expecting here. But you know, you can see it looked like there was a little feed block there. I don't know. I mean, it was definitely a game path because I, I followed the followed the path down into the floodplain, and uh, you know, saw deer scat and prints, and then spotted another doe. Off, so the play the area is thick with deer, so. I just came down off this uh, bicycle path. It's just you know right behind me, maybe you know 25 feet or so right there. But uh, right off the path, I uh, I found this. Uh, I would think that a predator would do a better job at. Uh, eating this up but it's not that uh, it's pretty fresh it doesn't stink but then again uh, it's been kind of cold so um, yeah I don't know what to make of this Enjoy your comments, your thoughts, your criticisms, 
your abuse, yeah, not so much the abuse, but uh, if you like what you see, give that like button a punch and, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll have something for you soon. Season's just starting. Do well. Go out and do something.